In this video, we're going to have a look at WP Grid Builder. They have released a beta version of their integration with Bricks. And I thought we'd just take a sneak peek to see how it works. And it works really well. So here we have the web page and we've, well, I've added some facets. And we'll just have a look to see how that works. So uh, you can choose, for example, you could choose t-shirts. And as you select various items, you will see that your, your options change on the other selections. So I'm going to head over then to music. Um, then I will deselect the t-shirts and then you'll notice that your colors are grayed out. The sizes are grayed out. So everything is dynamic and works really well. The other button you'll notice is this on sale button. So the nice thing is, is that if there are any products on sale, the buttons appear and you can tick it. If there are no items on sale, so for example, if I go to decor, you will notice that that button doesn't appear. Just another thing then, um, let's have a look at sorting by sizes. So this is the product attribute and that works just fine. And then we have the color and here we just select the color and the items that have that color are shown. So very easy to navigate on the front end. Um, these colors are picked up automatically from the product color um, when it comes to setting the attribute. Um, yeah, and then the reset button just resets everything back to the way it was. So that works really well. Um, let's have a look at the integration into Bricks. So here I am in the back end of Bricks, and you'll see that we have these various facets on the page. And at the moment, they come up as no content found in facet. And remember, this is a beta version, so that might just be as a result of that behavior. And it's really easy to to use. Uh, you can go pretty much anywhere on the page to add your facet. And let's just, um, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to remove this sale facet here, and then I'll add it again just to show you how easy it is to add. So we'll head over to the plus. I look for facet. It adds the facet then in on that on the page. And if I then uh, click on the facet, I have a menu here on the left that appears and it just simply asks select a facet. So I select one and the one we're looking for is the sale items and then it selects the grid element and the grid elements only have the one. So I know that it's this one. We select it and we save. And that's it. Now when I go to the website, the facet is available on the site. So it's really that simple in terms of integrating the facet um, into your layout, into your design. Uh, let's go and have a look at how the facet setup works. So I'm going to head over here to Grid Builder. Now you do need the Bricks add-on for this to work, which is installed. And if I go over here to Facet, you will see that these are the facets available um, that I've added to the website. And you can see a nice description down the left-hand side. Now what I'm going to do is uh, let's add, um, well, I can just re-add one of these then. So I'm going to delete the categories option. And then to add the categories, we'd say create a facet. It then says new facet category new. Um, I'll go over to behavior. And over here now, it's you have a choice, a filter, load, sort, apply. So in our case, it's a filter. And then you have a choice of check boxes, radios, buttons, drop down, um, a hierarchy, sliders, etc. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at um, leaving it as the checkbox um, because that works really well. Under taxonomy here, we're going to look at uh, product categories. Scroll down, logical combination. I'm going to go with all, so you can choose any category and combine different selections. And then you have a choice here to show children, show empty choices, show choice count. And I'd rather go for the hierarchical structure. Then people get an idea of the structure of the website. Um, and that's all that we really need to do for that to work. Then we save the changes. Um, now, I'm going to delete the previous facet that I had for categories. So we know that that is deleted. So if I save now and go to the website, 
you'll see that we no longer have the category facet available. Right, then it's a case of refreshing your bricks just to um, for bricks to then pick up the data of that new facet. I'm going to select a facet there. Um, right, Lord, let's add a new facet. So it's normally quicker just to duplicate an existing one and then make the changes. So there we have the facet. And now we're going to select, um, let's go with category new. That's our new category. And we're going to apply it to the Bricks container. Save. Head over to the website. Refresh. And our facet is ready to go. So um, a very smooth, um, very easy process then. Um, yeah, I think just. Um, an excellent plugin. It works really well. It's really smooth. Um, the administration is really easy and you have a lot of choices here in terms of what you can do. So um, yeah, there's even the load button. So for example, if we wanted to add a load more, so why not? Let's do that. So load more and um, on click, right? So um, now I'm changing an existing facets so maybe I shouldn't do that let me go back to facets here and let's then create the pagination facet so this is the load more head over to behavior we're going to look at the um, load head over to load more really quick and easy um, and I'll just leave it with those default settings save the changes head over to bricks uh, refresh the page uh, then i'm going to head down to the container so we have this top container and right so i want to add this after so i'm going to put it into this bottom container here and then we just say facet right we've popped in the facet and now what i'm going to do is select the load more apply to the category save over to the front end refresh and scroll down there we have the load more and it works really well <laughs> it's almost too easy to use this plugin when setting up um, an integration with Bricks. So I got to say, um, WP Grid Builder, um, a really smooth experience, so quick. Um, it's almost an anticlimax when you look at how easy it is to use. So, yeah, I got to say, hats off to WP Grid Builder, excellent plugin, um, fantastic integration. So, yeah, well, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video.